something. Father, I have come to your presence today, expecting your blessing, expecting a word, Lord, that will take me to the next level. Lift up your voice and say, Father, I need that word in this service. I need that word, Lord, that will energize me. I need that word for my preservation. I need God that word for my exemption from every deception of a devil. Lord, have your way, a word to change my life. Thank you, Father. Pray for God's servant and say, Lord, embrace him. Anoint him for this service. Lord, use him like never before. I have found David, my servant. With my holy oil, have I anointed him. Lord, anoint your servant for this service. Embrace him, use him. Lord, God Almighty, that no one shall live here the same way he or she came. To the glory of your name, be thou exalted. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You believe the Lord has answered our prayers. Why don't you jam your hands together? Make a joyful noise unto Jesus. Hallelujah. Very sure you came with a testimony. Please minister is at the glory gate entrance. Please quickly rush there and document that testimony. So you'll be given opportunity to share to the larger house. The Lord bless you. Let's make a joyful noise as we welcome the praise team to take us further. Hallelujah. Once again, put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. I'm sure you're excited to be here tonight. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Now lift up your hands and wave to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. All turn the finish of our lives. Wave to him and bless him.
Jam your hands together for Jesus. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Now your hands like this. Somebody get excited tonight in the presence of God. 
Are you ready? Every praise, sing it. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship is one of
Take your seat. Hallelujah. People of God, put your hands together for the following testimonies. And please step out as you hear your name. Hadassah Geshua, Mayowa Olawumi, Ugoke Uchena, and Ada Oko celebrate our King with Bibi Clap offering. We are trusting God for our testimony. And please step out that name. Again, Hadassah Gashua, Mayowa Olaumi, Ugoke Uchena, and Ada Oko. Hadassah Gashua, please step forward and tell the church what the Lord did for you. Please time your blessings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Hadassah S. Gashon. I'm here to celebrate grace in the house. I'm here to celebrate the unction that is upon the life of our father and our mother in the Lord. I want to thank God for a wonderful thing that God has done in my life. My testimony began from last year, precisely in November, during the convention. Daddy called for a seed, and a, a sacrifice rather. And my husband and I were burdened. We went ahead and we sold our car, one of our cars, and we brought it excitedly and joyfully to the Lord. And Daddy said something before the year ran out. He said, we're going to end the year with a blast and begin this new year with a sprint. And indeed, that was a testimony in my life and in the life of my husband. A business contact I had lost for over 10 years. You know, I got reconnected to that person in um, January. And then I realized that my finances began to grow and my finances, you know, spiraled out of control like to many encouraging zeros. And then yesterday, something significant happened when we came for seven hours in um, God's presence. We stepped in and daddy made all sorts of declarations. I remember precisely, daddy said we should stretch forth our hands. That chains were going to break from our hands and financial limitation and scarcity were going to leave, you know, some of us. I did that excitedly and I trusted God. A, a certain amount of money we had been um, expecting in the office where I work for months. At a point, in fact, it was a hopeless. It was like it was never going to come. Just this afternoon, true to the word of God, through his servant yesterday, that he said some in 24 hours, some in 72 hours. He gave, dif gave different time frames. Mine came this afternoon. Some encouraged mighty zeros stepped into my account. I am here to give glory to God, to say thank you for his love upon my life, and to say that indeed that there is power in the house. Thank you so much. And I give God the glory for the call upon the life of our father and our mother in the Lord. I celebrate you both. Celebrate the king of kings of the big, big clap offering. If you are trusting God for a complete toll around in your life, what a mighty God is served. Mayowa, allow me. Please confirm your name and tell the church what the Lord did for you. Please, the church. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Good evening, church. Uh, my name is uh, Mayo Alaomi. I'm visiting from... Okay. Hallelujah. Any zero that will discourage you... <laughs> shall not be your portion. It has to be encouraging zeros. Plenty encouraging zeros. And that is coming your way. In Jesus' precious name. Look at somebody by yourself. Say, get ready for encouraging zeros. Not the discouraging ones. Give the Lord the praise. Please confirm your name. Tell the church all that is for you. Okay. Uh, good evening, church. My name is... I'm visiting from South Africa. So, uh, in... Before I continue my testimony, I just want to make reference to the seed of destiny from yesterday where it was spoken about that the prophetic mantle can take you away from prisons and pits of whatever. So in 2016, I had a dream where some people came to where I was staying. They kidnapped me. So they drove me to an unknown place and they threw me into a deep pit. Uh, there was a lot of us there and that was it from that dream. Things were not going as smooth as I'd want them to be. So yesterday during the healing and deliverance service, uh, when uh, Dr. Pastor Enetcha was making mentions of people in pits, people in ditches, and then God opened my eyes, I saw Dr. Pastor Paul Enetcha, so he was at that exact same pit from 2016, I even forgot about it, and then he spoke out with a loud voice and he called on them to release me. So immediately, uh, chains were broken from my legs and my hands, and I was taken out of the, of the pit. So then I had a voice right after that saying, for you to know that I've sent my servant, Dr. Pastor Nature, to you uh, as a confirmation, you are, I'm going to give you access to see him today. That was yesterday. So I didn't really know what to think of it because I didn't really know I was going to see him to yesterday. So uh, before the end of yesterday, to the glory of God, I was able to see uh, our daddy, Dr. Pastor Nature, and he prayed for me and he anointed me. And I believe all that has been stagnant in my life from now would go forward in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. He fell into a pit in 2016 in the dream, kidnapped and thrown into a pit. And since then, everything went down. Right in the service of seven hours in the presence, six hours that became seven hours, 16 minutes. He saw me at the same pit to pick him back from where the devil dropped him. That is five years ago. That is to show that God knows the detail of your life. He knows where something went wrong. And he can correct it where it went wrong. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? Today I prophesy anywhere the thing got wrong in your life. Tonight it shall be righted. It shall be corrected. It shall be adjusted. Every pit and everywhere the devil kept you. Tonight you are coming out of it. You believe that shout the loudest. Amen. Give the Lord a praise as you take your seat. Ugoke Uchina. Please confirm your name and tell the church what the Lord did for you. Praise the Lord. Um, that was, we came from Enugu. We are here yesterday. On our uh, healing and deliverance ministry. So this, my son, has been having convulsions attack over 14 years now. Even sometimes when he comes, times it will happen to him. No more life will be in him. It's as if he's dead. But this God has been keeping him alive. Now, when we came for that uh, seven hours um, encounter with the Lord, at a time, Daddy made a declaration and said, if you're having any pain or any um, stand up. So I now stood up with him. I laid my hand. We are there. I laid my hand upon him. So Daddy made some prayers and then he was healed. He was healed. We now sat down again. But by the time we are going, there were some manifestations. You know, we entered the bus. By the time we look to the junction, we'll stop, Lokogoma Junction. We step down. This boy is not used to, maybe because of this uh, attack, setback. He's not used to, he finds it hard to talk. You know, even when he talks, he's not, sometimes people will not hear what he's talking. But by the time we step down from that uh, bus, from uh, no, no, that junction, he started talking, talking, talking. I, I was listening. So they are talking, talking. I said, oh God, I bless you. This, this, uh, you are showing me that you have done it. So when we went home again, in the night, if he swallow, 
he will just be eating it as if he's a, a baby. Smile, 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 smile. If you don't help him, he'll just take that small lick soup. He may not even lick that's all. But last night, the swallow was put in. He ate nearly all. He ate big, big balls. Even today afternoon, when the swallow and soup came again, he finished eating before me. He didn't spare anyone. <laughs> no, no, no. So I thank God for what he has done. I thank God for the oil on daddy. We have gone many, many places. And this boy, before he started manifesting this convulsion and epileptic attack, he had the gift of praise. Hallelujah. For the past 14 years, he virtually go into conversion eight times in a day. And since that yesterday, not even a single attempt has happened. Can we time. give the Lord a big clap of hand? Not a single attempt since yesterday until forever. His speech is restored. And he is now dealing with a swallow that could, he couldn't handle before. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. If you, have, if you want to confirm the testimony, just try him with swallow. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. God will change your story today. Give him the praise as you take your seat. Ada Oko. Please confirm your name and tell the church where the Lord did it for you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Mrs. Oko Felicia. My name is Ada Oko. Hallelujah. Brother Ada Oko has been suffering from a spirit of insanity for the past 30 years. Insanity that had defied all orthodox and traditional mercy. At the point, it became so violent that he was even abandoned. He couldn't go to school again. He couldn't walk, and it became a big challenge to the family until our sister here, who is a dedicated member of this great commission, decided to invite him over. At the seven hours in his presence yesterday. Hallelujah. The dust raised by that presence has not settled yet. I will not settle soon. As the servant of God was playing the instrument, Ada said something hit him. And before he knew it, he started blasting in tongue. Mm. Unk, the same person. He started blasting in tongue. The star heard him. What is wrong with you? He said, I cannot explain. He started talking, speaking coherently, became normal. And the spirit of insanity, 13 years, check back to hell. And they have returned this evening to say, Father, thank you. Spirit of insanity, one, three. One, three, yes, sir. 13 years. Yes, sir. Checked back to hell. He started blasting in tongues. You know what happened? The Spirit of God did not give the devil a chance to leave. He said, Let me step in. Let me see whether you can stay there. Hey! The Holy Spirit stepped in and the darkness checked out. For the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Today is somebody's day. Everything in your life, in your body, in your system that is not of God is checking out. Let's give the Lord two minutes celebration. I think it is worth celebrating. Be upstanding and let's give the Lord two minutes of celebration. Let's worship him. Let's honor him. Let's adore him. Be thou exalted, exalted. Exalted Emmanuel, be thou exalted, exalted, exalted. Everybody sing, be thou exalted, exalted, exalted. exalted. Exalted in the noon time, be exalted in the evening, be exalted. Emmanuel, in the morning, be exalted in the noon time, be exalted. The evening, be exalted. Emmanuel, hallelujah. Be now exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Be now exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Mama.
Amen. If you are a believer, shout a loud Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. God is about to give you a miracle today. Give him a clap and a shout of praise. And then please, you may be seated in the name of Jesus. Sound, don't make daddy have to bail me out all the time. Praise God. We're excited to have every one of you here in this power, communion, preservation service for the month of May. Please help me turn to your neighbor on the left and on the right and welcome them and tell them God is going to give you your blessing, your preservation in this month in the name of Jesus. Our season of destiny today is very interesting. God's servant in today's write-up has given it a title, Pay the Price. And the Bible says in Philippians chapter 3 verse 14, it says, I press toward the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. We understand today that it is confirmed that every rise has a price. If you want to rise in life, you must be ready to pray, pay the price. You must understand that nobody rises suddenly. There's no sudden flight. To reach the price, you must press for it. You need to pay the price to get the price. You need to get, pay the price to get the price. Now, he gives an illustration here about um, when a man fails to do the required things in order to get a wife. And, for instance, when a man carries a, a lady into the house, into his house, without properly meeting her parents in order to pay her dowry, it confirms that the value that her life holds in his eyes is very, very minimal. It is zero. And God's servant says, I use the word carries, not marries, because there is a difference between marriage and courage. It is one thing to marry, it's another thing to carry. When a man carries a woman to his house, did not pay dowry, did not do the required things, he has little or no value for such a woman. And since that woman has no value in his eyes, that, that man can beat her, slap her, treat her as he wishes, and would not care about her father or her mother. Why? Because he got the woman cheaply. But if he had had to pursue the woman and had had to pay the price on her head and engage her parents, and endure all the procedures of marriage and answer all the questions that the parents would have asked him or asked their potential son-in-law, he would definitely have value for such a woman. Where there is no price, there is no worth. Beloved, if you want to leave the ground level of life and reach high up in life, there is a cost. There is a price to pay. Do all that you can to pay the price and you will get there in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I hear. Praise God. There are um, three assignments, and I'd like to read them out today. They are very important. Number one, list out what you want out of life, and list the price that is required for you to get those things. Number two, ask God for the grace to pay the price, and then go ahead and pay it. And number three, refuse to allow your flesh or people to bend your principles. Somebody say, I hear. I believe God is moving us to the next height in life and in destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please lift up your hands as we pray together. Say after me, Lord, I receive the grace to pay the required price for impact in my generation. Help me, Lord, to bring glory to your name as you shift me to the realm of authority and influence in Jesus' name. Praise God. Dunami's voice tonight are going to be ministering a very powerful song received and written by God's servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, and the song title is Take My Life and Use It. I believe that you'll be blessed this evening as a minister. Let's receive Dunami's voice with a clap offering as a minister this evening.
you mean that in your heart? Tell the Lord. Whatever I do, whatever I do, my life is no longer mine. Two more time. Whatever I do, whatever I do, my life is no Lift up your hands everywhere you are. Last time we give you the praise. Elayon, we give you the praise. Thank you, because in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Breathe upon this service. Let not one person live here the same way. Go on ahead and whisper that name. by the name Jesus. Anigesh. Anigesh. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your presence. So heavy today. Heavy right from yesterday. Let not one person live the same way. Be glorified, be honored, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a big clap of hand as you take your seat.
Isaiah chapter 33, verse 15 and 16. I welcome everyone here to this preservation service of the month of April, May. You will not live here the same in Jesus' name. He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly, he that despiseth the gain of oppression, that shaketh his hands from the holding of bribes, that stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood, and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil, he shall dwell on her. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Dwell on her. Bread shall be given him. And his waters shall be sure. He shall dwell on her. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rock. Bread shall be given him, and his waters shall be sure. The subject tonight is lifted and shielded by God. Lifted, I am lifted. I am lifted by the blood. Out of sin, and sorrow into the presence of the Lord. Lifted, I am lifted, I am lifted by the Lord. Of sin and sorrow into the presence. We shall be understanding the lifting power as well as the shielding power of God. The lifting power as well as the shielding power of God. Please, I want you to pay very serious attention to the things you hear Generally in church, especially the things you hear in preservation services in the world we live in. The young man testified yesterday how his own former staff or employee tried to organize a kidnap for him. What caused him to survive were things he heard in church. You cannot die like chicken. He said he began to remind God Lord, your servants say I cannot die like chicken. What does that mean? And God said to him, if a man dies like chicken, his wife can't see him, his children can't see him, and they may not have his body to bury, what do you want? And he said, I can't die like chicken. His intestines were out. I'm sure many of you saw it yesterday. It was the most terrible sight some people have seen. But for a medical practitioner, it's normal. It's testifying there yesterday. How many of you were not here yesterday? All right, show them the, what, what happened. Those who were not here yesterday, wave your hand, let me see you. All right, where were you? Where could you be in the whole world? 
Wave your hand. Let me see you again. You are not here yesterday. Show them what happened to the man. They it's okay now. You see, intestines were out. And they were out for eight hours. Number one, he did not bleed to death. The protruded intestine did not die. And the one doctor was analyzing with me yesterday. He said the bullet did not shatter the major organs. The kidneys are there in the abdomen. The liver is up there. The spleen is right there. It didn't destroy the mesenteric vessels, the ones that supply the intestinal, well, I mean, the, 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 the intestines. And that is bleeding to death. The biggest vein in the body passes through the abdominal aorta. If it shatters that one, that is death within minutes. The bullet didn't locate it. The bullet shattered the testicle without passing through the pelvic structure. The pelvic bones are here. If it passed through here to go in that direction, it's crippled for life. That is if he's still alive. But the things he had in church sustained him in the time of disaster. You shall be sustained. You shall be sustained. So as we take the journey listing carefully, please take your seat. I want to say by introduction that God is the lifter of men. The lifter. He is the lifter of his people. And God is committed to the lifting of his people and committed to the shielding of his people. When God lifts you up, he keeps you up. His authority comes with his security. When God gives you authority, he gives you security. As children of God, our destiny is up. And it is important to know that danger is very, very minimal up. Give you three illustrations. First, no bird is trappable in the sky. Birds, you set, you set traps and set snares for beds on the ground, not in the air. Second, no aircraft is afraid of arm robbers roadblock in the air. No matter how desperate the arm robber is, he cannot mount the roadblock 35,000 feet above sea level. On the last floor of a skyscraper, the roaring of a roaring lion on the ground is inconsequential. You are on 110 floors or 60 floors of a story building. 
the roaring of a lion on the ground. The writhing of a snake on the ground is inconsequential. Anybody afraid on a 10-story building that a dog is barking on the ground on the ground floor need a mental state assessment. God is taking you somewhere and already took you somewhere and no devil can access where you are. If you are a believer, your amen would be louder than that. Your amen will be louder than that. Shout the loudest amen. I want to show you four pictures of our destiny of divine lifting in scripture. You have a destiny of divine lifting. I have a destiny of divine lifting. Picture the picture so you can feature in the reality. Number one, we are a city set on a hill. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. He said, ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be healed. You are not a bachelor positioned in the valley. You are not a heart planted in a hole. A city set on a hill. What is the meaning of that? First, we are not victims of ground level events. Earth level events. We are, you, you are, you cannot be a victim of valley level events or earth level, ground level events. Two, we can see and deal with danger before they arrive. A city set on a hill is like a watchtower. It's like the military watch posts. You are standing up there and you, are see, you have a view of what the enemy is trying to access to do around your life and your family and destiny. We can see and we can deal with danger before it arrives. It's a watchtower operation. From this moment forward, I announce to someone here, as a city set on a hill, you will no longer be a victim of ground level operations. As a city set on a hill, before the enemy plan the next attack on your life, on your family, on your destiny, on your career, the Lord will reveal it to you and give you the grace to reverse it. You believe that, shout the loudest, amen. We are a city set on the hill. Number two, we are spiritual eagles, 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 eagles. Where you see yourself determines where you find yourself. We are spiritual or covenant eagles. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 he said, But they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Hmm. Eagles. What does that mean? First, it means we have the capacity to see very far. The eagles can see 
at some levels up to 100 miles ahead. Number two, we have the capacity to fly very high. Or B, as an eagle. Our terrain is not the ground, it's not the earth. Fly very high. 10,000 feet above sea level. At times more, in the realm where the aircrafts fly. Thirdly, as eagles, we possess unbeatable strength. They shall renew their strength as the eagle. That is, you are, not, you are not permitted to be defeated in a fight with the forces of hell. The eagles we hear can carry weights that are three times its size. Fourth, we dwell in the realm that is far beyond the reach of harm. We dwell in the realm that is far beyond the reach, reach of Ham. When God was dealing with the children of Israel, in Obadiah chapter 1, verse 4, he gives us, gives us a parable. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars. That is what concerns us now. But for the other people who offended God, he said, I will bring you down from there. But the eagle sets his, his, his nest on high, above the stars, in the realm. That is, we dwell that in a realm that is far beyond the reach of harm. Mm. Number five. We rule both in the air and on the land. That is the ego. Ruling both in the air and on the land. In Job chapter 39, verse 27 to 30, Job 39, 27 to 30, does the eagle mount up at thy command and make her nest on high? She dwelleth and abideth on the rock, upon the crag of the rock. What a strong place, the strong place. A place that is far beyond the reach of her. Keep going, all the way to verse 30. From thence she seeketh the prey. And I'll come to that later. And her eyes behold afar off. Her young ones also suck up blood. Where the slain are, there you find the eagle. We dwell, we rule both in the air and on the land. And finally, we pursue and cannot be pursued. Tell me the last time you saw an eagle being pursued by anything. The eagle can never be the prey. It is the predator. The eagle is more dangerous than the lion. I'm sure you know that. Actually, eagles hunt baby lions and lions themselves. It will just move from the sky. I, I, I wish I told the ICT about this. And then you can give us some pictures. All the way from the sky. It will use his two, his two claws and he use it and pick up the lion and lock the claw. Just lock it in the middle and then take off from the ground. All the way to the rock top where he will lay it down and pieces it. Very dangerous. Eagles, where eagles operate, even human beings are told to be careful. Yes. 
one of the worst enemies of the eagle is the snake. He uses his claw to, to crush his head. He will pick snake from inside water. Yes. Did you have some pictures to show? And then everything that is dangerous can be humbled by the eagle. He starts picking the, he, he eats the snake from his head. You need to see the eye of the eagle when he's handling a snake. I personally searched it. And you are an eagle and the devil is serpent. Kill it. You saw, saw it. And this is not a very big one. Not a, that is a, a, is a dead. The poison of serpent is immaterial in his body. It's inconsequential. Eats it effortlessly. Eats it with his poison. I hope you have permission to pick this so that I don't give you a copyright uh, strike. Thank you. From this day, I prophesy to you as an eagle, every serpent around your life is a dead serpent. Every witch around your life is a dead witch. Every wizard around your life is a dead wizard. I prophesy to you from today, the capacity to see far is imparted. The capacity to fly high is imparted. Unusual, unbeatable strength is released into your body. You shall dwell henceforth in a realm that is far above the reach of Ham. In the name of Jesus, commence your rule, your rule, your dominion, your domination both in the air and on the land. You believe that shall the Lord say amen. And from today, you are the pursuer. The last time you saw yourself running and somebody was pursuing you in the dream is the last time forever. The last time you saw yourself running and anything was pursuing you in the dream shall be the last forever. From today, you shall pursue, and they shall be on the road. Somebody shout power. That's right. See, he swallows it raw from the head. Just until the tail, everything enters inside the stomach. Just deal with it. See the eyes. Show that eye again. What other people are afraid of is what it is swallowing. I told you from the head. I'm sure you have seen that now. From the head. He consumed it from the head. The head of the snake is deadly. Even after you have cut the head off, if the head of it, the one that is down there is still deadly. That is what the eagle is feasting on. And here you are afraid of a witch, a tiny witch. And God say you are an eagle. Somebody shout no more! Shout no more! That was why when that man testified on Sunday that the wicked uncle that was killing everybody in their family said he encountered his pastor that is more wicked than his own wickedness and gave him paralysis and stroke. And he had the audacity to say that he will see who will die before who if the pastor is strong. So I roared on the spot. You know when you are drunk, you don't rehearse drunkenness. I said, under three days, he's dead. I thought it was a recent thing. 
not knowing that within exactly three days from his statement, he went to the shrine to make invocation to call the name of fire and lion on top of shrine. He was roasted beyond recognition. Not everybody can be pursued. Not everybody is charmable. Not everybody is enchantable. The next time they call your name anywhere, the fire shall appear to roast them. I speak to everyone here. The next time they call your name in the camps of wickedness, in the camps of the occult, in the camps of witchcraft, anywhere, ritual killers camp, anywhere they invoke you or your loved ones, they shall be roasted by fire. Say, I am a city that is set on a hill, and I am an eagle. I pursue. I can't be pursued. Take your seat. Maybe that is another sticker. I pursue. I can't be pursued. Look at three people around you say, I pursue. I can't be pursued. One day I dreamed that some people came to attack me. The way I finished them in the dream, when I woke up, I was feeling it. I hope I didn't finish this people too much. I finished them so they... I... Only in heaven will we know the number of those who dared us and didn't live to tell the story. And from today, all the demons that will dare you, they won't live to tell their stories. All the witches and the wizards and the forces of hell that are daring you, they will not live to tell the story. You believe that shall the loudest. Amen. In our Portacos crusade this year, young lady and her husband serving us, remember them, and, and told me about the revelation she saw. And she, in, the, in that revelation, she went somewhere in that revelation and saw some demonic agents, occultic people, all manner of people making invocation on a particular picture. And she went closer. What picture is this that they are making invocation? And he saw a group of them, tough ones. And he saw, he said, it was not my picture. It was the devil's picture. That they are making invocation, enchantment, and placed my picture in their midst. And she said, oh, Lord. Different, oh God. He said, Lord, what is about to happen? What is going to happen? Then an angel stood by her and said, Watch. All of a sudden, fire from the sky, bram, then the earth opened, wah, and they went straight to hell by direct entry. <laughs> it's a shame for a child of God to be afraid of a witch. They took your name to a herbalist and you are shaking. Tell them you want to meet the herbalist. <laughs> hey! Hey! Somebody shout power! Somebody shout power! Say, I am a spiritual eagle. I pursue. I cannot be pursued. Take your seat. We are a city set on a hill, number one. Number two, we are spiritual ego. Number three, we are spiritual stars.
cars. In Genesis chapter 15 and in verse 5. Genesis 15 and in verse 5. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. Abraham, your seed are stars. Genesis chapter 22 verse 16 and 17. He said, and he said, by myself have I sworn, say the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, that in, multi in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the stand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies, the stars of heaven, we are stars. Daniel chapter 12 and in verse 2 and 3 it says and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake and some to everlasting life some to shame and everlasting contempt and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever we are stars by our assignment in God we are stars because we are Abraham's seed Galatians chapter 3 verse 29 we are Abraham's seed, so we are stars. And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed. And heirs, according to the promise. What is the implication of stars? <laughs> How many of you, if you go outside tonight, you will be able to see a star in the sky? I'm sure you can. You lift up your eyes now, you can see the stars. How many of you know how far the star you are looking at is? The closest star to the earth, the Proxima Centauri, is 4.24 light years. Light years. is 4.24 light years away from the earth. You don't understand. What is a light year? One light year is the distance that light rays will travel in one year. That is traveling at the speed of 3 times 10 to power 6 meters per second in one year. And one light year is equal to 9.44 trillion kilometers. <laughs> 9.44 trillion kilometers. That is the distance that light will travel in a year. And then multiply that distance by 4.24. That is the distance when you look at the star. That is how far. Not one million, not 100 kilometers, not 1,000 from here to my degree or Lagos or something. 9.44 trillion kilometers. That is where the nearest star is located. If you want to reach it, it will take you over 250 million miles. To reach there. Trillion kilometers. Trillion kilometers. You are not understanding, right? <laughs> you want to wrap it around your head. Uh, That is, from here, which one is, where, where is 1,000 kilometers from here? Maybe by degree or something. Multiply that by 100 million times, 100 billion times. That is where you are located. The meaning of it is, you can see me, but you can't reach me. Are you 
just sitting and looking like that. Stand on your feet with the shout of pray. Hey, 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 hey. I, I, I just remember what I was, I was just about to say now, say now. That if it is 949.44 trillion kilometers, it will take you 215 million years to come close to where I am. <laughs> it will take you 215 minimum million years to reach where I am. If you have any means of coming close. <laughs> have you, they say they go to the moon. They go to, have you ever heard anybody say I went to the star? Look at your neighbor and say, I am a star of the spiritual type. You can be seeing me around, but you can't near me. Tell every witch and every wizard, every ancestral curse, every generational curse, every occultic curse, every power from hell. The fact that you, I am around does not mean you can near me, you can reach me. It is like being tantalized by a food you cannot eat. That is the meaning they can hate you, but they can't harm you. Because they need to be able to reach you to harm you. I've not heard this kind of word before. Listen to me. I prophesy to say, they can carry your picture, but they can't reach you. They may carry the piece of your hair, but they can't near you. They can carry a piece of your cloth, but they cannot near you. Is there somebody God is speaking to here? Give him a clap. Give him a shout of victory. Hi, 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 hi. Walk to seven people. Tell them they may be able to see you, but they won't be able to harm you. They may be able to see you, but they won't be able to reach you. 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 So don't be afraid of the native doctor another time. Don't be afraid of the witch doctor another time. Don't be afraid of the occultist another time. Don't be afraid of your witchcraft uncle another time. Don't be afraid of your witchcraft in-laws another time. I use, is God speaking to somebody here? You are existing in the realm that is beyond the reach of hand. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. What are you telling me? That it takes 4.24 light years to reach the nearest of us and 9.44 trillion kilometers is the distance a minimum of 215 million years to take for me to think of reaching. Summarized it on the screen there. Hmm. You are so close, but so far. Did it ever cross your mind that the star is that far? Something you can see with your physical eye. With, with, you, don't, you didn't need to carry a telescope. You are so near, but so far. You are so close, but so unreachable. Hey! 
You are so close but so unharmable, so untouchable, so indestructible. They, you, are, you, you are visible but not available. That's another one. I am visible but not available. I may be visible but I am not available for your witchcraft and occultic manipulation, for your demonic agenda. I am visible. I am not available. Ay, 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 ay. I need to see how I can round up. Somebody give him another shot of victory. What's the meaning of that? You can see me, but you can't reach me. What's the other meaning? We live in a world that is different from this one. The stars are not under the influence of this world. We live in a different world altogether. The first, pic, the f number four picture of our lifting is going to show that we live in a world that is different from this one. If we are in the same world, the, the witches would have finished many of our sins. Hallelujah. The fourth thing we are saying now, why is city set on a hill? We are spiritual eagles, we are spiritual stars, and we are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That one is even further than where the stars are. I need that song very, very soon. Beyond where the stars are formed, beyond where the clouds are formed, beyond the stars of light, into the holy place. Take me higher, Lord. Take me higher, Lord. We'll sing that as soon as this word is over. We are seated in heavenly places. How do I know? Ephesians chapter five, chapter 2, verse 5 and 6. Ephesians chapter 5, chapter 2, verse 5 and 6. The Bible says, Even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together with Christ by grace, he has saved. And has raised us up. Jesus raised us up. And made us to sit together. In heavenly places, in Christ Jesus. In heavenly places, in Christ Jesus. And where is that place? Where, where are we seated together? Now, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 20 and in verse 22. 20 to 22. He said, which he wrote in Christ, when he raised him from the dead, and set him at his own right hand, in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come give the lord a shout of praise why should you be afraid of a witch when his or guy is under your feet when they are master we are seated in heavenly places what is the meaning of that first we are seated above the forces of darkness and danger seated above the forces of darkness and danger above the forces of darkness and danger the second we have all the forces of the enemy under our feet we are seated above the forces of darkness and danger second we have all the forces of the enemy under our feet somebody say amen somebody say amen somebody say amen somebody say amen somebody say the loudest amen Somebody say amen at the top of your voice. Amen. Hallelujah. That is where we are seated. Tonight, what will I say? Examples abound in scripture. 
of people who were lifted and shielded by God. Let me run through that and give you a counsel tonight. Number one, Abraham was lifted and shielded by God. You know the story. Abraham was lifted and shielded by God. In Genesis chapter 20 and in verse 4, when God came to Abimelech in the night and told him, you are a dead man. From verse 1 all the, all the way to verse 5. You are a dead man. Abraham was lifted and shielded by God. Number two, Jacob was lifted and shielded by God. God took him up and God shielded him. Genesis chapter 35 and in verse 5. Genesis 35 and in verse 5. And they journeyed and the terror of God was upon the cities that were round about them. And they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. Something was around Jacob and his sons that made it impossible for the devil to pursue after him. Now, look at the testimony of Laban. Genesis 31, verse 22 to verse 24. Laban was going to, and it was told Laban on the third day that Jacob was fled. And he took his brethren with him and pursued after him seven days journey. And they overtook him in the Mount Gilead. And came to Laban, the Syrian, in the and God came to Laban the Syrian in the dream by night and said unto him, Take heed that you speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. God shall visit some people because of you this night. God shall visit your enemies, my enemies, our enemies, because of us this night. If you are saying amen, shout the loudest amen. In Genesis, and then in verse 29, Verse 29 of the same verse, Genesis 31. Laban said, it is in the power of my hand to do you hurt. But the God of your father spake unto me yesterday, I saying, be careful how you speak to Jacob. Don't tell, speak good or bad to him. Just be neutral. The God of your father came to me last night. Hear me. Under the next 24 hours, a witch shall be visited by God because of you. A wizard shall be visited by God because of you. A killer shall be visited by God because of you. A wicked, jealous, envious man or woman shall be visited because of you. Shout the loudest. Amen. Jacob was shielded, lifted, and shielded by God. Number three, Job. You know the story of Job, Job chapter 1, verse 3. The man, his substance was 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, 500 she asses, very great household. And this man was the greatest man of all the East. And then Satan testifying in verse 10, said to God, has thou, does Job fear you for nothing? Have you not made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he has on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land. Somebody here, the blessing of God is providing a hedge around your life. Finally, number four, Daniel was lifted and shielded. Daniel chapter 6, the whole of the chapter. Verse 1 all the way to verse 5, you can write it down. And then in verse 10, Daniel was lifted by God. And because of his lifting, they moved to conspire against him. And put him in the lion's den. But in verse 22, 21 and 22, that the king came, then said Daniel to the king, O oh, king, live forever. My God has sent his angel, and he has shut the lion's mouth that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocency was found in me, and also before the O oh, king, I have done no hurt. Somebody say, Amen. The angel of the Lord will manifest for you shortly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your right hand and say, I am lifted. And I am shielded. I give you three counsels very quickly. And then we shall pray. Number one. Determine. To be among the stars of God. In your generation. Be among the stars of God. In your generation. Determined to be among the stars of God in your generation. What's the meaning? Do all, you, all that is required of you in order to be lifted by God. 
Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 to 2. Anything required of God by you, do it. If you hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord your God, he will set you on high. The meaning of it is, in your generation, determined to be an Abraham. Determined to be an Abraham, an Isaac, a Daniel. Release excellence. Do everything required. An Esther, a Queen Esther, a Deborah. A principal person, a notable person. When you have made up your mind to be like that for God, you don't need to beg him to shield you because kingdom assets attract kingdom security. You don't beg the government to gather Sorok or the White House. You don't beg the government to guard the Central Bank of Nigeria or the U.S. Federal Reserve. You don't beg people. You, you, you don't, no begging. Just become an asset. You attract security. If you're a kingdom asset, you attract kingdom security. Secondly, exist in the consciousness of your far above status in Christ. Far above principality and power. Far above status. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 20 to 22. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 5 to 6. I am far above. I am far above. I am far above. I am not in the same realm with the witch. I told you eagles don't fear snakes. They hate snakes. They actually deal brutally with snakes. Far above status. Far above. Far above. Someone say a loud amen. Somebody say a loud amen. Say amen at the top of your voice. Exist in the consciousness of your far above status. And finally, put away ungodliness from your life. Ungodliness. That was our text in Isaiah 33, verse 15 and 16. He said, if you will walk righteously, if you will speak uprightly, not crookedly, if you would despise the gain of oppressions, you don't make money from oppressing people. If you will shake your hands away from fraudulent money. We live in a generation today where money has become the god of people. People will do everything to get at money. Sell their body, do all manner. Be crooked, make deals, all manner because of money. And, and if you will stop your ears, from hearing blood, where they are destroying other people's character, you are not there. You shut your eyes from evil. He say you shall dwell on high. Then your place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given you and your waters shall be sure. A satanic cycle has just been broken. Somebody whose name was on an enemy hit list to attack you, to hit you, to cut you off, you, your family, your loved ones, that list just caught fire. It set on fire. Stand up on your feet. And, and I just heard now, you will not die like, die young like your people died. Like family members that like your father died. Like your, your siblings died. You won't die young like that. As a matter of fact, God is going to use you to revenge against the devil. Everything the devil did wrong in your family, God will use you to make the devil to pay for it. Lift your hands and let's take that song. Lift your hands and just worship him and give him the praise. Lift your hands, lift your hands. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Take me higher, Lord, into your throne room.
sing along as you see the lyrics. How I want to feel of your throne room, Lord. Oh, Lord. Take me past the sound. And sound for the world. And sound for the world. Into your presence. Right to where Take me higher, Lord, one more time. Take me higher, Lord. Take me higher, Lord. Oh. And sounds of the world into your presence, into your presence, right to where you are, right to where you lift your voice, take me higher, beyond. your hands and your voice and say after me and say father I am a city set on a hill I cannot be healed in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I, ask, Lord, I ask Lord that you help me, that you help me to, occupy to occupy my status as a city, as a city that is set on a hill that, on a hill that cannot be healed in the name of Jesus go for your mouth and speak to God Lift up your two hands and say, Father, Father I am an eagle. 
I am an eagle. A spiritual eagle. A, spiritual eagle. a covenant eagle. A covenant eagle. Today, Today, I take my place, take my place as, the as the eagle that pursues, that pursues and is never pursued. Never pursued. I, take I take my place in the high places. In the high places. Tonight, Tonight, in the name of Jesus, name of open Jesus. your mouth and pray. and say, Father, Father I, take I take my place as a spiritual star. A spiritual star. I, dwell I dwell in a different world, in a different world altogether. altogether. I can be seen, I can be seen but can be reached. But can be reached. Visible, visible but not available, not available for any force of darkness for any, force for of any darkness. power of hell i take my place, take my place tonight, tonight as a spiritual, a spiritual star oh lord in the name of jesus open your mouth and speak to god as a spiritual star a spiritual star your two hands and say father, father I, take I take my place in the heavenly places in, heavenly places, in christ jesus, in christ jesus. Far, above, far above all principalities, all principalities and, powers, and powers and every force, and every force of, hell. of hell i take my place, take my place there, there, there right now, right now. open your mouth and pray <laughs> To us, I say, Father, I want to be, I want to be your star, your star in my generation. In my generation. Give me the grace, give me the grace to do what is required, to do what is required, to be your asset, to be your asset in my generation. In my generation. Help me, O Lord. Help me, O Lord, to live, to live in my far above. In my far above. Consciousness, consciousness all the time. All the time. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. With the correct lifestyle. With the correct lifestyle. 
to attract, to to attract, attract existence, existence in high places. In high places. I, receive I receive grace, grace right, now. Right, now. right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Lift your hands, lift your voice and talk to God.
Get your hands high. I see refreshing in the air. I see revival. I see fresh fire. I see fresh direction. I see fresh clarity. That verdict is cancelled. Somebody is in need of new strength, fresh energy to deal with the adversary. Receive now! A demonic mystery of vulnerability. Frequent enemy attacks. That mystery is broken right now. Receive fresh help. Receive fresh intervention. Receive fresh grace. Receive fresh mercy. Another chain just got broken. Another person just got out of the pit. Father, thank you for tonight. As we take the body and the blood of the one who is seated in heavenly places, we reconnect our sitting position. As we take dominion and exercise authority over the force of hell. Everything not planted in the body and the lives of the people Father, by this mystery tonight, let it be flushed out. I declare a new season in Jesus' name. This is the most important light you may have heard concerning your preservation. Go chew it, meditate upon it, walk in the reality of it. While they come forward to take communion, people who are in need of surrender to Jesus, to have your sins forgiven, quickly run forward here and let us receive you. You are saying, Pastor, this message will not just pass my head. I want to make my ways right with Jesus. I want to be genuinely born again. I want to be genuinely saved. I want today to mark a new day for me. Anywhere you are, pick your Bibles and pick your bags and rush to the front. I'll give you the count of seven and be the first person to come. One. Lord, I give you my heart. Oh, Lord. I give you my Two. Soul. Quickly run forward. I leave for you Three. alone Every breath that I take Every moment I'm away Every moment I'm Four. away Have your way, Lord Have your way Five with me. Lord, I give you And see I give you my soul I leave for you And seven alone. Every breath that I take Every moment I'm away Every moment I'm away, have your way, Lord. Lord, I give you my, I give you my love, I give you my soul. I live for you, I live for you. Every moment I'm away. of five for anyone that is bound by an addiction, a negative lifestyle, a negative habit, something you are not happy with, a lifestyle you are not happy with, something you want the grace of God to do away with, smoking, drinking, gambling, betting, fraud, any kind, any, any, sort, any kind of lifestyle that you know God is not happy with. Quickly pick your Bibles and your bags 
and quickly rush to the front. Again, I give you the count of five. One. Lord, I give Two. You give my soul. I leave All you. Place your right hand on your chest. Pray after me and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life. Make me a new person. Say it. Today I have decided to follow you, Jesus. No turning back. From today, forward ever, backward never. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray for you right now. I declare the hold of sin broken off your life. And the grace to live for God is released upon you. I call it done in Jesus' name. Amen. Counselors, where will you keep them? All right, quickly ha have your seat. Everyone take up your communion. And in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, the very life of Jesus flows through this communion. Everything that is called the spirit of death is killed right now. Strange disease is flushed out. Every ancestral generation occurs. I declare them broken off your life right now. Everything my father in heaven has not planted in your body, I declare they are flushed out right now. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I declare it's a new day and a new season for you. And it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Celebrate. Just take that communion. The blood of Jesus set me free. From sin and sorrow, the blood of Jesus set me free. The blood of Jesus set me free. From sin and sorrow, the blood of Jesus set me free. Oh, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus set me free. From sin and sorrow. The blood, 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 the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus sets me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus sets me free. I prophesy upon you, fresh life is released and fresh help is released. Tonight encounters will confirm to you that your level has shifted. When next they look for you, they will look up and see you find the star among the stars. In the name of Jesus. Go forth and return with testimonies. In Jesus' name. Stretch your two hands in front of you. And I prophesy upon your hands that your harvest will look for you. And today, systems will come under pressure. They will lose peace and sleep and rest. Until all that is yours enters your hands. And I call it dawn. In Jesus' name. Go on ahead and celebrate your sleep. Drop your offerings. After you have done that, you pick up your bottles of oil. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you ring my life. I'm so glad you came to save me. You came from heaven to earth to show. From the grave to the sky, Lord, I think your name. You came from heaven to earth. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. My death to my death. From the cross to the grave. From the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name. Saturday, bear in mind the home church outreach in the morning and Saturday evening the home church visitation, um, the home church meetings and those who came out just now for the altar call as well as the first timers that will come will have a meeting with you, a joint meeting by 6 p.m. of Saturday. Please inform them and let them know. Sunday morning 
is an anointing service, oil for the top. How many of you want to remain there? I told you if you go up, God is duty bound to keep you there. And so ensure that come with your bottles of oil as we trust God to take us up where we, we belong. In Jesus' precious name. Pick up your bottles of oil and then let's be upstanding and, and open it. It's your oil of preservation. He suffered no man to do them wrong. While we are doing this, all first timers and newcomers, step forward and let us receive you. If you receive the testimony tonight, I believe we, sh we shall hear from you maybe coming Sunday. First timers, newcomers, and intending members, step forward and get your anointing in the front. He suffered no man to do them wrong. He rebuked kings for their sake, saying, Touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. I prophesy upon this oil and I decree, decree this is your seal of preservation. From this moment forward, any time the enemy locates you, they will locate fire. Whenever they sight you, they, has, they have sighted fire. Everyone who will not let you rest, they are finally laid to rest. And everyone who brought communion materials as well, the, the communion is blessed. The blood of Jesus will go into operation wherever this is applied. And right now, by the reason of this anointing, every bondage and chain in your life is broken. Every pit or prison where the devil kept you, that pit and that prison is broken. You are on your way out in Jesus' name. Leave that oil up, and if someone around you needs the oil, need the oil, you give them a little out of it, and begin to pray and establish what you are receiving tonight. Establish what you are receiving tonight. In the name of Jesus, lift that right hand up now, oh, the, the hand that has the, the oil. At the count of five, you place it and scream fire. Let the seal of fire be found on your life. And let that be your seal of preservation. And overnight, may God grant you encounters. And you wake up completely healed and whole. In the name of Jesus, Father, let your fire, let this fire represent the fire of preservation. Let it represent the fire of consecration. Let it represent the fire of revival. Quicken spiritual life. Quicken prayer life. Quicken study of the world. Quicken passion for God. Passion for evangelism. Passion for uprightness. Let this be a fresh fire of revival, of visitation. Receive it at the count of five. In the name of Jesus, one, two, three, four. And fire! 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 
receive the fire. Receive the fire. Receive the fire. Receive that fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zeka pata lete prete si da da da. Receive that fire. 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 Jesus, so shall it be. Lift up your hands. And those who are here for the first time, cancel us, please, you attend to them. The beginning of unusual miracles, signs, and wonders in your life. Be on assignment for God. Compel them to come that my house may be filled. Don't drive to church with an empty car. Don't let the week pass until you have told somebody about the incredible things we see and experience here. The palpable atmosphere of God's presence. Very heavy, intense word. Raw miracles. Let your world know. The Bible said, God turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. When you minister to your friends, then God can turn your story around. It's a new day for you. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and give him the praise. Double edition of Seed of Destiny for May and June. We dedicate in the name of the Father, now the Son, now the Holy Ghost. Proceed forth in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. The Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you, and be gracious unto you. Just one moment. Wave your hands in the praise of God. Right. We have a new venue for early will I seek you, and that is at the children's church behind the school here. We had the first edition there this morning. It was explosive and powerful. And you can also join us tomorrow and see how exciting it is. The Lord bless you. Can I hear a louder amen? The Lord cause his face to shine on you. A louder amen. And be gracious unto you from this day and forevermore. Proceed home and return back with your testimonies. In Jesus' precious name. 2022. How are you doing? How is your life? How is your family? How is your destiny? How is your business? Your finances? Your bank accounts? And everything that pertains to you, they are all in the overflow. Shout the loudest, amen. God bless you. Shake the hands of five people and congratulate them. Tell them they can see you, but they can't reach you. They may see you, but they are not able to reach you. Celebration. You are God. You are not just big you are not just like you. You are the great God. I want to welcome you. H happy to see you. Our counselors are right behind you and they will talk with you briefly. God bless you in Jesus' name. You are God. You are not just ego. You are not just like you. You are the great God. You are God, you are not just people, you are not just love.